Hello everybody, hope you're doing good. Today in this video, I would be discussing some big updates. These are some of the rule changes and would concern wide variety of people. So if you have studied in Canada recently and currently here on a work permit, I've got a very good news for you. And also, there are very important updates if you have plans to travel to Canada in the near future. There are few very important rule changes that we'll discuss. And also, if you're in a home country, you got your PR approved, but your confirmation of permanent residence document has expired. So we have got another very important update for you as well. I'll try to keep the information very crisp and clear. So do watch this video till the end because it's going to provide really big and important updates. Hello everybody, I'm Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad and I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button. And yes, if you have any questions, any queries, please go on to Facebook. You can join the Dream Abroad Canada Facebook group. And if you want to enjoy some fun moments, you can come over to Instagram and follow me at Dreamers Abroad. Okay, so let's quickly start this video with the travel rule changes which are already in place from January 7th, that is yesterday because I'm shooting this video on January 8th. So basically, travelers to Canada would actually need a COVID-19 negative test before boarding the plane. Yes, this is a big news. Earlier, that was not the case. Travelers were not required to actually furnish that proof that they are COVID negative. But yes, now all the travelers would actually need to furnish that proof that they are COVID negative. You would need to get a PCR test within 72 hours of your scheduled departure. Guys, take this very seriously. Just in case you're not able to prove that you're COVID negative, if you're not able to give that negative report, then in that case, you won't be able to board the flights because this rule has already kicked in. There have been issues reported around the world when travelers were not allowed to board the flights because they didn't show negative COVID-19 lab report. Okay, now quickly moving on to all those people who have got their confirmation of permanent residence, but that document has expired. So earlier the rule was that you would actually need to submit the web form. And after that, ISCC would contact you, giving you an authorization letter that you can actually show at the airport while immigration and only then they would let you to enter Canada. But now, RSEC has clearly said that now you don't need to contact IRCC via the web form. They would contact you directly from themselves. However, if you contacted them before 23rd of December, they will still look into your request. So guys, please make a note of that. Don't waste your time submitting the web form for your expired COP hours now. The rule has totally changed. Please make a special note of that. Okay, now the third category of people, all those students who have recently graduated or recently completed their studies from Canadian institutions. So all those international students, I've got a good news for you. Government of Canada has announced a new policy to help the former international students who live and work in Canada. So basically, if your postgraduate work permit is expiring and maybe you could not get your job or maybe some other issues, there are thousands of people like that. In that case, your visa would be extended by 18 months. Now, this rule change might be a little confusing. So let me take you directly to their website where they have mentioned the details very clearly. Okay, so this is the official page of Government of Canada and this is the detailed description of the good news that they've explained here. They say that foreign nationals in Canada affected by the pandemic with an expired or expiring PGWP, which is postgraduate work permit, will have a unique chance to apply for another open work permit. This is a unique chance, guys. We have never seen this before. These will be valid for 18 months and allow former international students to remain in Canada, continue to seek employment and build their future in this country. Why they have brought in this policy? They mentioned here that this pandemic has brought many challenges for international students as well. Most notably for many holders of PGWP, the pandemic's disruption and uncertainty have jeopardized their chances of obtaining the work experience they need to apply for permanent residence. 
so that's a good news all those people who were struggling they could not get their required job maybe in the right noc codes you now have 18 more months let's just quickly check the eligibility criteria they've mentioned here that to apply for an open work permit under this public policy the applicant must have a pgwp that expired on or after january 30th 2020 or a pgwp that expires in four months or less from the date they apply they should still be in canada and have a valid temporary status or be applying to restore their status. They would be accepting these applications from January 27th to July 27th. So it's open for a few months, six, seven months. You have those chances. You can actually go on to apply for an open work permit or maybe if you want to call it an extension to the open work permit. They've mentioned those people are big in numbers here. These numbers have mentioned 52,000 graduates with expired or expiring PGWPs could benefit from this policy so guys i hope you would have got the required information if you still have any questions please put it down in the comment section below i'll provide this link in the description box below if you're interested you can check it out okay so thanks a lot for watching the video guys please click the thumbs up button if you like the video also if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please click the subscribe button because subscribing is very important you get notifications for all my recent uploads